Hey guys, happy Monday. I hope you're making it an awesome, magical, wonderful day. Today, I'm gonna to be showing you what I picked up at thrift stores. I go thrifting at least once or twice a week, really just for the love of the thrill. So I know that sounds a little bit crazy. I love trying to find really good quality pieces at a fraction of the cost that you would spend at a retail store. So the first thing that I will show you, which these aren't super exciting, but um, I go hiking quite a bit. My family is really outdoorsy and we love nature, so we go to the trails. And so I found these Eddie Bauer shorts. They're just plain black. They almost feel like weather resistant shorts. They were in perfect condition when I got them. These are a size four. And they're kind of like that midi length. They probably will hit around the thigh area. They're not like super short shorts. So I thought that these would be great if I'm helping do some outdoor volunteer work or if I'm just going hiking with my family and want something, you know, weather appropriate if I don't have leggings or anything like that. But they're super comfy and I washed them, but it looks like the price tag got for, I forgot about the price tag. So I purchased these for $2.99 and they're great quality, great condition. They feel water resistant. They've got some back pockets here with um, some Velcro where you can just put your phone or put your keys. They also have these little side pockets, which I thought if Jeffrey and I do some volunteering, oh, there's only one side pocket. <laughs> I guess I didn't look at them very well. Um, there's only one side pocket there, so I figured if Jeffrey and I do some volunteering, that'd be a good spot to put any paperwork if we need it. These aren't something I would have purchased in the store, but to find them for $2.99, and Eddie Bauer is great quality, especially for outdoor wear, so I thought this is a great find. The piece that I found is totally on the other end of the spectrum, so this is a really cute lace black skirt. And I posted a picture of this on my Instagram, um, just showing that this was an item that I actually tried on in stores. So the brand from this is called L, the size extra small. I actually tried this skirt on in the stores at Kohl's when they first had it, I think like last summer or maybe last fall, and I didn't want to pay the price tag. It was on sale, but I think it was still like $20 or $25, and I was like, ah, oh, no way, like I can pass on that. I probably won't wear it, and I was just kind of sifting through the racks at the thrift store, and I found it for $0.09. Cents. It's got a, an elastic waistband, which is great if you want to tuck something in, and it's got this little underlay on the bottom. Um, so you're not like completely exposed there and then the lace just goes on top. So I was super excited to find this. I'm going to save a few things for last because they're kind of my favorites. Um, this mason jar mug that I'm drinking out of, I actually found this at a thrift store as well. I think I paid like 12 or 15 cents for this. And it's important to stay hydrated so always get your water in. And in my opinion, everything tastes better from a mason jar. So, <laughs> another thing that I found that I'm super excited about uh, are these coffee or soup mugs. They're from the brand Sango or Sanjo. I don't know how to say it. I actually uh, bought a, an entire plate set from this brand, and it was like fifty dollars at Bed Bath and Beyond. But I found these for just a dollar ninety nine. A sucker for a cute coffee cup, and I thought that this would be great for that or if we do ice cream and sundaes, that kind of thing, or even just for soups, because the bowls that we have right now are a little bit smaller than this, and they don't have the handle, so if it's really hot, I don't like to hold on to it from the bottom, so I thought this would be perfect, because I can hold on to it from the side, and I actually found an extra one, so now I have a pair of soup, ice cream, hybrid, coffee bowls that I can use. I love the earthy tones of them, they feel like great quality, they're, um, kind of glazed over so they've got that nice shiny polished look which I really like and like I said I'm just a sucker for a coffee cup and I thought that this was coffee the size of my face and I like that. And the last few things I got um, I'm super excited about. I love them. So the first one that I'll talk about, these are actually the shoes that I'm wearing at work today. I bought them yesterday um, with my brother. We went to the thrift store and I saw these and I got super excited. They are just these Franco. What are they called? Franco Sarto Cowboy Boots. They're ankle booties and they've got this really cute little buckle detail on the side with a little brass hardware. And then it's got some really cute stitching up at the front. 
and they're a very low heel, which I like. They're work appropriate. They don't make a whole lot of noise, but they still kind of have like that western flair. These are size six, which I'm a six, six and a half usually, and they fit me perfectly with some good socks in there. And I know people get really weird about buying shoes at thrift stores, so one of the things I look at first is the wear on the inside of the boot. So I will always look at the inside. If I can still see the name, um, or if it doesn't look like too weathered down, then they're probably still in good shape. Now if you can ever see foot marks or dirt feet marks that kind of thing I will never buy them because I just don't think that that's hygienically safe but if it's something where you can add an extra insole then I don't really see the problem with it another thing I always look at is the bottom so I've already worn them yesterday and today so they've got some the bottoms didn't look very dirty at all they probably looked like they were worn a couple of times and then put to the side so I always check the bottom and the inside so if it's something that you can put an extra insole in that'll typically take care of the problem but if it's something that looks really dirty really worn I just typically pass them up. Um, you can also invest in going to a cobbler, have them replace the soles if you want to, if they're not in good shape, but they're a really good brand that you like. But as far as buying shoes at the thrift store, I really take a good look at them before I decide to invest. Even though they're only a few dollars, you just never know and you can't be too careful. I love antiquing. I go probably every weekend or every other weekend. I love to find vintage items and repurpose them or just display them in my home just for like a cute decorative conversation piece. But this piece I absolutely love. This is a vintage Eddie Bauer Western braided belt. And you can see all these colors. I just love the turquoise and the blue. And there's some red and orange and like a little pop of yellow and some black as well. And I love the braiding detail on this. And I love this silver hardware on there. It's just so beautiful. It shows the length on there. So it looks like this is a 30 inch belt, which I can't wear this all the way around my waist. Like with traditional jeans, I can only wear this with some high waisted trousers or some high waisted shorts. It looks really cute. I love how sturdy this feels. The leather feels like it's in great condition. And I think I bought this for $12. If I saw this in the store right now, I would still buy it. So that's why I justified spending the $12 on it. Otherwise, that's kind of a high price point for a belt, but it feels like it's in great condition. I love, love, love the texture, love the color, love the Western flair. This could really dress up an all black outfit, or it could be a fun pop of color on a fun flowy dress. Actually, another pair of shoes. This is another pair of like western boots that I found at the thrift store. These actually still have the tag on them because I haven't worn them yet. I paid $10.99 for these. And I thought that that was a great buy because they look like they're in great shape. This is a brown um, like leather suede. It looks like they're leather on the inside and then suede on the outside. The stitching still looks like it's in great shape. The heel looks like they're in great shape. And then the bottoms did show some signs of wear. Um, but the bottoms are like solid wood, so I thought that this was great. So I was like, okay, you know, I'm willing to work with that because the insides of them were actually in great shape as well. I may replace the insoles, take them to a cobbler to have them um, put a different pad on the inside just because it looks like that one may just be like a generic one that someone put in there. These are size 7, and like I said, I'm a size 6, 6.5, but these are made in Brazil. So I do own another pair of shoes that were made in Brazil. They've held up super well, but they do tend to run a little bit small in the sizing so when I tried these on I had thick socks on and they fit perfectly so I'm super excited to wear these and I actually have an outfit in mind one of my girlfriends and I are going to the Thomas Rhett concert with Kelsey Ballerini in a couple of weeks so depending on the weather it is an indoor venue but depending on the weather I'll probably wear these with a cute white flowy dress and then I will probably pair it with this belt and then wear it with my denim jacket that I found at Target that is in one of my other videos I'll go ahead and link it in this video so you can watch that later um, so I thought that was a really cute outfit overall I'm super happy with these pieces like I said if you're a little bit nervous about buying shoes just take a good look at them and if you can picture yourself wearing them or if you can picture an outfit or if it's an item that if you saw it in the store you would still buy it present day then take the time to investigate it and possibly invest but if it's something where if you saw it at the shopping mall like a week from now if you think that you wouldn't buy it, then just pass it up. Someone else may really enjoy it later on. Thanks so much for spending time out of your day to watch this video. Go ahead and give it a subscribe and a thumbs up, and I can't wait to talk to you soon. Thanks. Have a great day. Bye.